y'all welcome back to another building video on the minion bus so where we left off you saw that subfloor getting dropped in there now i want to show you a couple developments that happened in there and then we're going to get into what we're doing today so let's hop in the bus we use that sikaflex adhesive sealant for the subfloor so there's no screws it's just glued down if you can look it's stuck down real good not shifting all good but I ran out on this last piece right here and I ended up just grabbing some random construction glue I had laying around the shop and it just didn't do anything apparently I was looking into because I ran out of the good glue and the thing about the good glue you can't buy it in the stores you gotta order it in I did some research apparently only certain kind of glues will bite into that foam board. I didn't know. I ordered a bunch of the glue because I'm going to use it on a bunch of buses. And I can't put a floor down until I get the good glue and get that last piece re-glued down. We're moving. So the subfloor is done. I'm just waiting to kind of touch, fix it a bit. But we're moving on to the walls. Now, whoa, I just fell. As you can see here, We've got the empty walls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some kill mat in each one of these little little pockets. And then I'm going to put, uh, I'm gonna frame these edges with two by two on each side. And then I have some pine uh, tongue and groove boards that I'm gonna hang up uh, and recover the wall with. And then we're going to go through and paint all of the bare metal and the wood white and give everything in here that's going to be showing a nice fresh coat of white. And that way we can do all the painting and stuff while the subfloor is down because it doesn't matter if we get paint on it. And then after that, we'll do flooring. But after that, we're going to put the Ford Transit seat here so I can get the car seat in and be using this bus as soon as possible. I don't know how long that's going to take. I'm going to try and get the walls on today, but that's our mission. Let's get into it. have just hit a snag <laughs> this metal is super super hard look at this I've been sitting here for minutes can you see that I'm trying to drill through that so I can pre-drill this stuff through there's no way I'm gonna be able to do all of these little patches you need really, really good expensive bits when you're dealing with metal like this. 
and I have cheap bits. I might have to stop and go to Home Depot and go get bits. I'm going to try and at least get one in and then we'll go from there. Yo, we might be back in business. So now we're gonna put insulation in those walls. Uh, I don't normally re-insulate. I know a lot of you people out there got your opinions on that. I've lived in bus, I've lived in a bus for two, three years. Original insulation, wasn't cold. Had a climate controlled heater, I don't know. So whatever, you guys can save your opinions for yourself. But anyways, I wanted to I just, basically with this build series, I wanted to do everything people think you're supposed to do. So I wanted to reinstate this bus, wanted to do a subfloor, and I wanted to try this insulation, Havelock Wool. Everybody in buses is like, oh, you have to use spray foam. I don't know if you can tell, I don't do what everybody does. I did my own research. I know that's a foreign concept to a lot of people. And I actually like what I found on the internet better about this stuff. You know, it's all natural. It's not some weird chemical. And I don't know, it feels like it'll breathe more. You guys do your own research. Don't take what I say as gold. I'm figuring it out just like you. But from the research I did, I kind of really like this Havelock wool. I'm gonna put this in here and then I'll do a whole video about, you know, the difference between this and that and blah, blah, blah. But Let's get this wool in there.
Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's work day. We're gonna keep pushing because we do want to get paint on all this. We do want to get trim on this. We do want to get a floor in this. And we do want to get a transit seat in here by the end of this video. But it's already past five o'clock. I'm done. And I'm trying to work out because I'm trying to be healthy. But just to recap, we got the frame. We got the two by two framing installed on the bus. And then we insulated with Havelock wool, which I really liked, actually. I don't know if I said anything, but it was really easy to work with. I just used some 3M 90 strength glue. And then uh, we hung up some pine boards and I made sure to leave a little bit of gap here so I could put some cedar trim, but this is all gonna be white. So basically getting it all so I can mask it all and then paint all the walls, the wood and the metal and all that back there a nice fresh coat of white for yeah i want to have really clean nice beautiful white and then wood where well, that's it for the day i'm pretty hyped with what we got done and uh i'll see uh i don't think tomorrow because we have doctor's appointments i'll see you in a few days when we get back on this build i'll see it in another few days youtube ladies and gentlemen What's up? Your Filipino is back. It's been a few days since we were on this build and we're hopping back in there today. It's kind of a big mission. So let's go in there and we'll talk you through what we're gonna try and get done. As you can tell, I, I don't know if I told you, but the glue that I used on that last piece didn't set up. So I had to wait for my good glue because it's way better. So no screws. I got glue on that. I got all that flooring on there, just putting weight on it for that glue to dry. But today's mission, we got that wood and insulation in there the other day. Our goal today is to prep that metal, just scuff it back up so I can get paint on it. Um, I'm gonna sand this wood. All this bare metal is gonna get primer on it. And basically all the walls in here it's going to get a nice fresh coat of white paint so it'll all match so everything showing that's not in furniture is going to get a nice coat of white and the only thing that's going to be white that we're not doing today is this stuff but i'll paint that another time so that's our goal today we need to get paint on today that way tomorrow we can get a floor and the seat in here and that'll be the end of this video that's our mission we got a lot to do let's go Okay, he's a toast. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow the adventures. <laughs> Maybe he's taking off. I'm leaving bus now. Been here for a while. We'll see you. Have fun. We'll watch on YouTube. Okay, love you. Bye, love you too. Peace. So seriously, I love you. As you can tell, we got the bus masked up and we're ready to start putting paint down. First thing we're gonna do, now that we're masked up, is we're gonna use this rusty metal primer and we're gonna hit all these bare metal spots that we have all up in here. All that bare metal needs primer. Oh, and now all of a sudden it started raining. Hopefully I don't have to, to relocate real quick. What I'm gonna do right now is put some uh, primer on that bare metal 
And then we're gonna get the paint gun ready. Uh oh. <laughs> right when I'm ready to paint, it starts pouring rain. And then we're gonna spray white on all these walls. It'll have a nice brand new house look. Uh, let's get on it. Y'all, that was a gnarly hard knock work day. Uh, I didn't bring the camera in here because I don't want paint all over this fancy camera. So let me tell you what happened. I let the lady at Home Depot talk me into using water-based paint on the metal. I guess one of the first lessons of bus building is don't listen to Home Depot employees. <laughs> I always use oil-based paint on metal. Anyways, it took so, so, the few things I was running into is it's kind of cold. So the first coat I put on and then I put another one on and it was just running. Call my dad. Well, my dad owned an auto body shop for a lot of years. And I put a heater in here and then really let the coats dry between between with the heater and then the paint started really sticking But it just took so much to get coverage. I think I could probably got 10 to 11 coats of white in here right now So it's done. It was a long day That's gonna be it for today And then tomorrow we'll come in here and we'll unmask this and then we'll put a floor in is the plan and then uh, then we're gonna mount the seat and that'll be the end of the video once we get you know the walls done and the seat and the floor in and the seat mounted we're trying to get there our goal is to get there by the end of tomorrow I'm done I'm hungry I think it looks good we'll see once we get all this stuff unmasked but I'm gonna go set the shower up good morning we're back to another work day and we got the thing painted last night, but today's mission is to put in this flooring and that Ford Transit seat. So let's get in there and get it unmasked. I'm not gonna talk much because we need to get her done. Let's go. I didn't film any of what I just did for the last hour or two, so I want to at least talk you through it. Basically, I caulked, I put caulk in all of the gaps and edges. And the reason that I did that is because it's just a little gap that dirt could get caught in. If water got in, it could, it could puddle up and then gun it under the floor. And, Basically this way it'll just help keep everything out of there and help it keep it sealed up. Now that's a 30 minute paintable cock, so I just put it in. It took a lot, honestly. I think I nine tubes of cock. I just set my alarm for 30 minutes. I'm gonna take 30 minutes and probably go get some lunch. And then we should be able to keep going.
y'all, that was another rough day. I'm supposed to put the seat in right now. I feel like I need to. I'm gonna crawl up underneath it and make a decision because we need to take this down and we need a seat in here, but I'm tired, it was pretty gnarly. And the shop looks crazy, I'll give you a shot of that, but let me look underneath it and see if I think we're gonna put that seat in tonight. Y'all, I got it done. I got the floor in. I got the transit seat in. So that way I can put a car seat in here. I'm a little worried about a fridge fitting there now. But that's a problem for another time. That's going to be the end of this video. I went hard, yo. I feel good about it. But Jaylena had to come out and help me out. This thing's really cool too, actually. So you pull these levers and this seat will just pop out of the tracks. And the only thing that sits there is a the track, so it's kinda cool. Removable seat, but it's heavy. Probably not gonna want to remove it often. The only thing I'm concerned about is right here, there's not much room here, <laughs> you know? But it is what it is, you know? That's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching if you got this far. If you like bus building or you like bus life adventures, you're in the right place. Consider subscribing if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.